the uh, marathon was fine. It was uh, pretty good weather for running, and uh, because it was cool, um, and the um, you know everyone's excited. I, this is my second year going, and uh, it's a, a really one of the wonderful sports events in America. Um, and I finished about an hour before the blast. Um, I was cold because I was drenched with sweat, and so I went into uh, a little restaurant there at the uh, finish line. Um, and then when I came out of the restaurant, the uh, I turned to the right, the finish line is to the left. I was on the opposite side of the street from the blast, and then boom! Tremendous noise, the loudest noise I've ever heard in the city. And a few seconds later, a second blast. I saw nothing. Um, and in the city, that kind of noise, you can't really tell where the noise is coming from. I could tell emergency personnel, and the police were responding in a certain direction. I figured that the last thing they needed was more spectators there. So I went in the opposite direction. And um, that's about it. It was the I could tell that all the people around me had the, exactly the same reaction. They didn't know what had happened. They didn't even know where it had happened. Was there a, an explosion in the subway or um, in another street? Um, as it happened, it was right across the street from where I was, but I, I just couldn't tell that. Um, and the police shut down the Green Line subway uh, in Boston. And so I, uh, knowing the city, I walked across the city to find a subway line that would get me back to the airport and managed to do so. The airport was operating normally by the time I got there. It's my understanding that they had a short ground delay. Um, and things had gotten, there, there was a, the appearance of normalcy. Um, and walking across the city, though, the only sign of that things weren't normal was the huge number of people on the street because nobody was in the subway. <laughs> uh, the people checking on their phones, you know, trying to understand what had happened.